anime fans are clinically insane and by clinically insane I just mean weird. Honestly I needed a juicy title. Before people start getting pissed, I'm not genuinely attacking anime fans here. This is uh, you know more about the extreme fans out there. I feel like this is a fair place to start. Do I even need to explain? People walk around kissing and banging body pillows, taking them out to dinner and shit like that as if they're real people. Now again, to be fair, this is only the most extreme out there, but you don't really see this kind of stuff in other fandoms. To be fair, some people do it as a joke, like YouTubers or streamers or stuff like that. Doesn't really matter then, in my opinion, because they're not genuinely into body pillows, it's just like jokes or whatever. And not to unnecessarily bully, but I mean like, man, the way people treat these body pillows is just weird. It's a thing amongst anime fans. Again, not all fans, it's the very extreme ones, but it, it ain't right, dude. I swear, their arguments are always like, oh, well, they're not real, so it doesn't matter. It's, it's not wrong. My brother in Christ, the fact that you are having naughty thoughts with a minor is not okay. Real or not, it's not right. Now, I honestly kind of do partly blame the studios for this. They make young characters look so unrealistically not their age to trick people to be down bad. Honestly, half the people who watch anime aren't even there for the plot. They're just there for the characters and like not in a normal way, in a down bad simping way. I genuinely hate to diss someone's music taste, you know, especially listening to a lot of music myself. I really hate to diss someone's music taste, but people, yeah, anime effect. <laughs> The music is just weird. What I mean by that is you can have some high-pitched woman with an amazing voice singing in Japanese. It all sounds lovely. Everything's going great. Till you realize she's singing about murdering her family and stabbing her dog. That's a bit of an extreme example, but is it? I'm not going to give an example because they're all very weird, but if you're really interested, just Google it. Anime fans will vibe to any song they hear, even though they don't understand the lyrics. Most of the time, it's not really an issue, but sometimes when it is weird lyrics, it's like you've been vibing to, you know, whatever it is without even knowing it. So whenever I hear a song that's not spoken in English, because English is the only language I know, I always search the English lyrics for it because I don't want to be vibing to a song that's kind of wonky. If you've made this far into the video, you most likely genuinely care about the content, which I would ask if you could please like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot here on YouTube. I don't want to jice on any further, so back to the video. I'm sure we've all heard the stereotypes that, well simply put, anime fans have never heard of deodorant. Supposed to kill. Now here's the thing, of everything on this list, this is the most common outside of anime fans as well as, you know, not just anime fans, but I guess normal people in a sense. It happens to a lot of people and I kind of feel bad for this one, but it needs to be fixed and if me talking about it can help people realize they've got to fix it, then it's kind of worth it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The other day someone unfortunately confirmed this stereotype for me. I was lining up at a theme park for a ride, it was a very unnecessarily long wait. They took a long time to pull people on the ride which is why the wait was so long. Side rant, but anyway. Someone walked past me with an anime shirt and I swear I nearly fainted. And I mean, like I said, I feel bad just bullying like that unnecessarily, but put some deodorant on, it's not that hard. This one is uh, a bit more concerning for humanity, I'm probably taking this a bit too extreme, but the fact that people are starting to seriously, like genuinely in their heart, prefer 2D women over real women. Many anime fans don't even want a partner in real life anymore, they just genuinely want these fake characters or these fake anime characters create seriously unrealistically high standards and requirements which then no one really meets up to that, therefore you can't get a partner. Well, no shit. To be clear, I honestly don't really care who you're into, all I'm saying is that real people are better than fake non-existent characters on the screen. I swear a lot of people are going to genuinely argue that point. Now I gotta put this kind of disclaimer out there, you know how people are. When I said 2D women, it's because most of the time it's people being into anime women. Not as much as men, sometimes it happens people are into 2D men, but it's mostly into 2D women. So that's why I worded it that way. Just to be clear, don't get triggered. I don't really watch anime anymore, but I'm a dub kind of man. 
I like to have shows in the background when I'm working or when I'm gaming and you know, whatever I'm doing. I need the dub because I can't read subtitles and do other stuff at the same time. But man, dub haters take it too far, dude. Some of y'all gotta chill, dude, because I swear you guys make it sound like sub is just the way to go, makes experience so much better than dub. It doesn't really change that much. I know sometimes the dub voice actors don't quite do the original language justice, but at the end of the day, you can still get the main gist of an anime by watching dub instead of sub and i'll be straight with you sometimes dub is just funnier than sub i think you know what clip i'm referring to when i say that think of a big black man chasing you <laughs> well he's not racist i saved the best for last actually worst anime conventions i don't need to explain this if you've seen clips of it know what i'm talking about or anyone who doesn't know allow me to explain there are people who will pay cosplayers to stand on top of them. Yes, you heard that correct. They will exchange money to be stood on by a cosplayer. They will get down on all fours or lay on the floor and then give 10, 15 bucks to this person cosplaying as an anime character to stand on them. Literally, you could get like, how many is that? Seven and a half flushes. Inflation is hit hard. They're no longer $1, at least in Australia, they're now $2, but still, you get seven and a half slushies or be stood on for five seconds by a person. And that's like the least weird. There are so many way worse. Once I saw this clip on Instagram, a dude paid a cosplayer to kiss her hand you heard that right he gave her money to kiss her hand i can already see people justifying this but let me give an example i'm a big old simp for captain carter not really i just like the character but if i went to a marvel event of some sort and i saw someone cosplaying as captain carter would i pay them to let me kiss their hand no that's just weird i seriously never thought that i would have to put those words in a sentence but here we are I hope you get my point for the sacrifice that I had to make. Yet again, you already know, I've got to put this kind of disclaimer here. This obviously isn't all anime fans. I'm not playing that it is. Most anime fans are totally normal people, at least mostly normal people. It's just these types of extremes give, you know, just normal anime fans a bad name. Anime fans are honestly hated too much. And way back when, like the only anime I'd seen was AOT. My friends were calling me a weeb and shit like that for watching one anime. So like any generic anime fan does cop a lot of the diss and in full, all fairness it is a little bit extreme. I personally do think that all fandoms have some extreme fans but I also do think that anime has the worst out of most fandoms. Let me know which anime fan stereotypes I missed out on here and I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one.